world is not just run by laws of physics. This world operates at one level according to the laws of physics. And in, I mean physics, including, I mean, you know, chemistry, biology, and all that. But there is another level that supernatural factors also contribute. So, for example, if you want to understand how many years someone is going to live, you cannot just examine his body and diet and exercises and environment. There are other factors. How good he is with his parents. How he is connecting to this kinship. All these things have role in determining how many years you are going to live. Okay? So, when it comes to success, one of the key factors is your good intention. If you have good intention, this world appreciates. People's hearts will be open to you. But if you have bad intention, things become blocked. Maybe temporarily, with the force of money, or with some tricks, you can open partly a space for you to function. But this is not going to continue for a long time. So good intention is very important. Prophet Shu'aib said, my intention is only eslah. I just want to bring some reform, some improvement to your life. In uridu illa al-islah. In uridu illa al-islah mastata'at. As much as I can. It means that I am not reserving any talent, any skill, any resources, any time, any energy. Whatever I have, I put it into this work. Yeah? In Uridu. As much as I can. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَعِدُّوا لَهُمْ مَسْتَطَعْتُمْ مِنْ قُوَّةٍ As much as you can, you must prepare a strength. Here also it says, I don't want to accept Islam as much as I can. So, no laziness. No miserliness, no relaxation as long as the mission is not accomplished. I tell myself, and you don't need this, but I tell myself, we have many, many, many years to have rest in Barzakh. Now it's not time for rest. Now we must, as much as, of course, we don't harm our health, but as much as we don't harm our health, we have to work. There would be, God knows, how many centuries or how many thousands of years we are going to be barzakh. So there is enough time for rest. Now there is no time for rest. Imam Sadiq said about mu'min, badanuhu minhu fi ta'ab. His body or her body is made tired by him or her. Because he uses or she uses body a lot. But people are at rest. 
This is opposite to uh, what we see many times, that people try to relax as much as possible and put pressure on others. But moment is opposite. Never burdens other with his own task and even tries to take part of the task of others so that they can relax. If I try to make you comfortable, this is good. If I try to make you able to rest, this is good. <laughs> but if I do the same to myself, it is not good. <laughs> I should not be planning for my comfort and convenience. I should plan for your comfort and convenience. Yeah? So, mastata'at, as much as we can. Wama tawfiqi illa billah. And I know and I am conscious that my tawfiq is only coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I tell you something that I hope you remember. Sometimes we think it's not needed we keep repeating that we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our tawfiq is from Him. Everything is in His hand. Insha'Allah we will do this. Sometimes we think it is in our heart. It is in our mind also because we have a study in Aqayat that we are dependent on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we don't need to keep mentioning these things. But as a matter of fact, mentioning Repeatedly, your dependence on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would facilitate your efforts. If you say, I do this, inshallah, inshallah, we will do it, bi'iznillah, we will do it, but our tawfiq is in, from Allah, in Allah's hand. We put our trust in Allah and we do it. You may think these are not needed because we all know as mu'min, but no, these are very important. Mentioning these things with intention means you are using these spiritual tools. And this will change the situation. In Ramadan, we had this series that uh, spiritual tools and empowering uh, aids, or, or spiritual aids and empowering tools. So we talked about it. So it's very important. Like, you know, Bismillah. If you say Bismillah and you do something, it makes big difference. وَمَا تُوفِيغِ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ تَوَكَّلْتُ وَإِلَيْهِ I put my trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in Him I put my trust and to Him I return. Okay? So, Prophet Shu'ib is very clearly saying that I am dependent on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am doing everything out of my sense of responsibility towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but I do things wholeheartedly with maximum energy and power and talents and skills that I have. Imam Raza alayhi salam said, Man sa'alallah at-tawfiq wa lam yajtahid faqad istahza'a bi nafsih. The one who asks Allah for tawfiq, he asks or she asks Allah for tawfiq, but does not make his or her best, doesn't make efforts, has ridiculed himself or herself. If you want tawfiq, you have to work as much as you can. And about good intention, that we said, 
Amir al Mu'minin alayhi salam says, Man hasunat niyatuhu amaddahu tawfiq. The one whose niya is good, tawfiq will help him. So it means tawfiq comes when you have good intention. Dua is important. Amir al Mu'minin said, Alayka bil isti'anati bi ilahik wa raghbati ilayhi fi tawfiqik. You must ask your Lord to help you and you must have yearning for your Lord fi tawfiqik for your tawfiq. So if you want tawfiq, ask your Lord for help and have eagerness towards your Lord. Another thing which is very important is halal rizq. Halal rizq is very important. For a student, for a talabah, for an alim, for a teacher, for a speaker, halal rizq is very important. Because eating haram or things which are problematic will quickly affect your soul. Your soul would not be able to receive Allah's grace in the form of knowledge, in the form of understanding, in the form of wisdom. Having good temper is very good. If you are a person who has a very soft and gentle character and you are kind to people and you make people enjoy your company, this is very good for your tawfiq. Having good friends. If you want to succeed in your studies, choose good students who would be your friends. Those who have good akhwa, those who study hard, those who are organized and punctual, those who are polite, those who are grateful. This would help you in many ways and it would add to your tawfiq. And one of the things that our ulama have always highlighted is respect and kindness to your parents, whether it be your physical parents or your spiritual parents. 